This teeny guy is pretty special. He's from an area of South America that's in today's Peru, but when he was made over a thousand years ago, it was part of the great Huari Empire. Let's take a close look at him. First of all, we can tell he's an important person. That's because his tunic has a pattern on it worn only by members of the Huari court for special ceremonies. In death, the tunic was placed over the mummified body. Can you make out what that special pattern is? Here's a hint. It's an animal. In some squares, it's facing left. In some, it's facing right. And in some, it's even sideways. Did you guess? It's a llama. Llamas were super important to the Huari people. They used llama hair for weaving fabrics, hides for leather, and meat for food. Llamas were great for travel, too, carrying people and things all over the great Huari Empire, up and down the towering Andes Mountains, right down to the flat coast on the Pacific Ocean. This guy is made of wood underneath, but it's covered up with eight different kinds of shells, stones, and semi-precious or precious materials. Can you guess what some of them might be? Think of some of the cool stones you might have heard of. Or the dark colored shell of a common shellfish, kind of like a clam. The eight different materials are inky black mussel shell, that's the shellfish. Silvery white mother of pearl, which you find inside some seashells. And blue green turquoise, which is used in lots of Native American jewelry. There's also glittery pyrite, called fool's gold. Purple and orange spondylus shell. Green stone. And the nose is a deep blue stone with a beautiful name, lapis lazuli. Oh, and the headdress? It's darkened over the centuries, but it's silver. Of course, you'd have to be an expert to identify everything, but you don't have to be an expert to see why, even a thousand years ago, this precious little guy was worth a bundle. Mm-hmm.